G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for my round 12 version of Just The Tips. Now I have a confession to make to you guys. Uh, I'm actually recording this before round 11 because I am currently on a little trip, which I'll explain to you in, in another video coming up. But right now I am in London actually. So I'm going to have to go ahead of time to record this round 12 Just The Tips for you, which will filter into my analysis. It will influence it uh, and it'll make it a little bit difficult. So I, I'm flying blind a little bit here, uh, but I'm gonna have a crack at tipping round 12 ahead of time. Hopefully nothing crazy happens in the next uh, seven days, which will render these tips completely ridiculous. It probably won't though. I reckon we can have a good crack at tipping this week ahead. I'm going to assume, you know, just for the sake of argument, the Eagles have beaten Essendon by 100 points because that seems likely. No, I didn't get that the wrong way around. The Eagles will beat Essendon by 100 points. All right, so I can't give you the weekly winners in this particular video, um, but I'm thinking of you in spirit. But what I will shout out is the sponsors of the True Footy YouTube channel, manscaped.com, who have everything you could possibly need from a male grooming perspective. If you want to level up, if you're still doing it manually with a razor, change it up. Certainly don't use your bearded trimmer on your body and your balls, that would be weird. Use a specific product for it uh, through manscaped.com. They've got the Lawnmower 4.0, which can help you get the job done quickly and easily. Believe me, it is a game changer um, using that product instead of, you know, the old fashioned ways. And on top of that, you know, there's all these things included in the performance package as well, such as the nose and ear hair trimmer. There's colognes, there's liquid formulations, your crop reviver, your ball deodorant, anything you can possibly imagine to level up your manscaping routine. Just go have a look on the website, have a browse, and if you do get anything, you get 20% off and and free shipping by using the code TRUEFOOTY20. So there you go, a nice reward for sticking through the channel is you get a cool discount on some cool products. Well, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna use Squiggle again, uh, cause it's a nice visual aid. And the ladder that you see here is obviously me assuming I got all of my tips correct for uh, round 11. So that's probably not gonna be the case, but it's still there. You can still use it as a visual aid. This is generally what my predictions are. So we're gonna start off with Melbourne versus Carlton at the MCG. So uh, Melbourne will have played Fremantle and uh, Carlton will have played Sydney. So regardless, I, I don't think, you know, no matter what happens in those two results, this is gonna influence my tip here. Melbourne should be the stronger team here against Carlton, you'd think. Um, unclear whether Clayton Oliver is gonna be available for this game, I'm not too sure. But regardless, you know, Melbourne have been a very strong team this year and uh, they sit eight and three or seven and three in real life. Carlton, you know, they're capable of upsetting a Melbourne team on the right day because I think there's a lot of firepower there, but I don't have any faith in them to be able to pull out all the stops and beat Melbourne unexpectedly. So I'm going to say Melbourne... Uh, I'll say it's a closer game than a blowout, but I'll say it's about 24 points. Melbourne should win this. Port Adelaide versus Hawthorne at Adelaide Oval. Again, this one should be fairly straightforward. I'm not getting sucked into the fact that Hawthorne uh, just beat West Coast, and I think they will have played St Kilda. But even if they knock off St Kilda, Port Adelaide has proven to me that they are a they're here to play this year, and they will be difficult to beat in Adelaide. As I'm saying that, I am starting to remember, was there a game like a long time ago, a few years even, where Port Adelaide were huge favourites against the the lowly Hawthorne and Hawthorne smashed them. I don't know, probably, but either way, still, Port Adelaide are a very strong team this year. They should easily beat Hawthorne by a good 36 points. Ah, West Coast versus Collingwood. Now, I don't know. I'm hoping to uh, that you're watching this after West Coast have just put up an impressive performance against Essendon and we shock them, uh, but it seems very unlikely, doesn't it? Uh, we're talking about the worst team in the comp against the best team in the comp. Um, funnily enough, though, statistically, when the first ranked team has played the last ranked team, uh, something like 30% of the time, the bottom side wins. I can, could be making that up, but I remember that stat being true a few years ago. Also, um, that stat probably doesn't allow for the fact that this West Coast side is absolutely putrid, and um, uh, there should be some soldiers back by then, because I think, you know, hopefully the likes of Yo and Shui, and I heard a rumor potentially McGovern will be back by this game, but it doesn't matter. Collingwood are going to smash them. Um, I don't necessarily buy into the fact that it's necessarily going to be more than Hawthorne beat us, so I'll go conservative here, and I'll say a good 80 points <laughs> as conservative as as that is. Then we've got the Bulldogs and the Cats at Marvel Stadium. Um, this is an interesting one. Now I have both sides winning, I think, in round uh, 11, and that will set up a very tasty clash between a sixth versus seventh. I think historically the Bulldogs versus Geelong is generally just like, for, for some reason I feel like it's always a good game. This one's at Marvel too, not at GMHBA, although I think the dogs are okay at GMHBA anyway. Um, with the form that the dogs are in this year, I'm, I'm a lot more confident about them, and, and Geelong have their injury issues at the moment. So. Um, I'm going to have to, you know, tip blindly a little bit here because I don't know the uh, specifics of each team's form line 
right now to be in the future. But I'll say the Bulldogs win this game. I think at Marvel Stadium, they will have Geelong's measure. Then we've got Gold Coast versus the Crows. And uh, from memory, the Crows are a bit of a bogey side for the Suns, um, which will make this interesting. This is at uh, Metricon, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Adelaide have been a little bit patchy on the road this year, as you would expect from a uh, young up-and-coming side that are probably playing well earlier than uh, certainly I expected. They're really good at home. Uh, and when things are going their way, they look dynamite because they have a great forward line. But at times have been found wanting. So this could be one of those games as well because I do have some respect for the Gold Coast Suns with the way they've gone about it this year. And maybe the bar's just lower because it's Gold Coast, but I think we've seen genuine evolution there from the Suns. That being said, the head-to-head -head between these two sides makes me feel like the Suns will lose this game. Okay, I couldn't keep guessing. Uh, I wanted to see for myself. Uh, Gold Coast have only beaten Adelaide twice, which is interesting, but their most recent game against them, they had beat them by 43 points at Metricon. Um, and in fact, the time before that, they beat them at Metricon too. So the idea that uh, Gold Coast can't beat Adelaide is, is a myth in my head. And I know Adelaide uh, have, been, have improved massively, but that changes it for me. And I think I might actually side with the home team this year, this week actually, because I think they deserve some respect. And I think they've been good against some tough opposition this year and haven't really come away with the win. So I'll say that Gold Coast win this game by 10 points. Then you've got the Giants versus Richmond. Uh, Richmond are now under a new coach. Two sides battling away in the bottom six of the ladder. Um, and that's even accounting for the fact that I have Richmond upsetting Port at the MCG. So I might actually change that tip now because Hardwick is not coaching that game. That was a key variable for me. Um, the Giants have been solid enough this year. We've sort of been in just about every game they've played and um, you know, struggled to actually notch wins this year, but they haven't really been terrible in many, if any, of their performances this year. And Richmond have been absolutely inconsistent. It was a pretty meek start to the season, and they haven't really lifted, save for a big win against Geelong, um, where that was impressive. And this is in Sydney, where I feel like the Giants generally have a good record against Richmond. Again, let's look this up. Yep, so looking at that, it looks like the Giants have won the last three at this particular ground, uh, Giants Stadium, or as I don't know what it's called now. It says Sydney Show Ground, it's Giants Stadium. So I think they've won the last three against Richmond, and that's factoring in Richmond have been good um, in most of those years. I think in 2020, uh, Richmond obviously won the Premiership, and GWS were pretty awful from memory. So, based on all that, I think I'm going to tip the Giants here. They should win this game by, oh, it'll be close. It'll be close. Let's say a thriller, seven points. Then you've got Essendon versus North. Um, Essendon, again, you think they will not to win against West Coast. So going into this game, they should be six and five with a healthy percentage. Um, and North Melbourne, by contrast, have been bleeding a little bit since round two. Um, this one's a fairly simple tip for me. I won't bore you with heaps of analysis, but Essendon are the better team. And uh, of course, you know, it's not out of character for Essendon to just sort of shit the bed midway through the season, but I feel differently this year. I think Essendon will uh, continue to be decent for a little bit longer at least, and they should beat uh, North Melbourne here. And I'll say as much as uh, 36 points. So that's it, guys. That is the conclusion of uh, round 12. Again, firing in the dark a little bit because uh, I've missed a whole extra round there. Um, so my, my tips could change, but it's kind of fun to see how accurate I can get it this far out. Hope you're enjoying the content, guys. Um, there's a little bit more content coming out and then a video coming out explaining what I'm doing in my uh, personal life in terms of travel soon as well. Uh, but I've done my best to set it up so there's content for you waiting um, regardless of me being here or not. So hope you guys are doing well. Appreciate all your support. I really do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.